Hi, this is Namita Jaspal and in this video we will be watching some um, basic conservation treatments in case of paper prints. And the first step here is cleaning the surface of the paper and then we fix the ink so that uh, any further aqueous treatment can be given. The damaged edges or the weak edges or corners are protected and given some stability. Here we can see that there are very thin mylar sheets to protect uh, the treatment we have given. Another important thing to notice over here is that uh, the print is kept over a non-woven polyester sheet and underneath it is a polyester film. Now this particular print is very brittle and uh, it is more visible from the back which is um, much more brown than the front. And it is uh, always better to prepare the paper for uh, before we actually go for aqueous treatment. And here we are doing the same by relaxing it a little bit with the help of uh, ethanol water uh, mist. It is. Um, not exactly 100% water. We have mixed ethanol to improve um, the maybe the wetting property of the paper so that it can take, it can withstand the actual dipping process uh, in case of aqueous um, cleaning which would be the next step. In aqueous uh, treatment, we will be slowly dipping uh, the print inside the water bath which is specially prepared for this uh, um, particular process. It is mainly having distilled water with uh, some calcium salts like uh, calcium hydroxide. Within a couple of moments of uh, dipping the print, we start seeing the yellowish uh, material coming out of the print into the water. The water starts getting more and more yellow or brownish and you can see over here, uh, slowly and slowly from various areas, the, these acidic components of paper start coming out of it and into the water bath. Print is then dried under the blotters and then kept for flattening. We are just taking the print out to see if it is uh, if the treatment is working well and if there is any need to change the blotters.
Yeah, here we can see that the tide lines have lightened. For tear mending or edge mending, we use Japanese tissue paper made of uh, kozo plant and which is having very long fibers. It is non-acidic and hence uh, provides a harmless strength uh, to the paper, paper support and mends the tear in the most idealistic way. Now here the adhesive used is uh, water based in this particular case but it can be um, of different solubility also in other cases. It depends on uh, the strength or uh, the requirement of the paper. And another thing that we have to keep in mind while using, while selecting uh, even among the water-based adhesives is that it should be non-acidic, uh, it should not impart any acidity which was the case in case of um, uh, previous restorations that we find in different prints and books and uh, moreover it should not allow uh, the growth and uh, propagation of um, uh, fungal colonies or bacterial colonies, the cellulitic microorganisms, be it bacteria or fungi. So uh, we have to be very careful in selecting the adhesive that is to be used. Uh, it should be, it should not chemically or biologically or physically damage the paper with age or with time. Now we have to be very careful while selecting the adhesive we are using in the individual case. We have many options within the water-based adhesives and it, there are other adhesives also which are not water-based and there are certain cases in book mending and all where we don't want to use water-based um, adhesive and uh, so we have Japanese tissue paper with uh, adhesive which is um, having a different solubility it is not water soluble rather soluble in organic solvents um, and uh, among them also there are either the adhesive which are activated with pressure alone and there are some which are to be heat activated and this set once they are given a little uh, temperature an exact temperature at which they get activated uh, with a little spatula uh, which is specially designed for this sort of mending Most of the steps uh, in this conservation process will be covered in the next video. So keep watching. Thank you.